there's been no let up in the violence in Gaza. The Israeli military has confirmed that it's destroyed the building which houses the offices of some foreign news operations. Staff have been evacuated following warnings from Israeli officers. Israel says it was targeting Hamas military intelligence. Earlier, Palestinian officials said Israeli airstrikes killed 14 people, including five children in a densely populated refugee camp. One Israeli has died in a rocket attack from Gaza on a Tel Aviv suburb. Paul Adams has the latest from Jerusalem. In the dark of another long night in Gaza, a desperate search for signs of life. A four-storey building in a densely packed refugee camp hit repeatedly, according to eyewitnesses, and raised to the ground. The rescue operation was frantic, <laughs> yielding only a catalogue of death. Two families obliterated, at least seven people, including five children, aged from five to 14. Mohammed Hadidi has lost almost everyone. His wife, Maha, and the children were staying with her brother when the missile struck. Little Omar is all he has left, found in the rubble next to his mother. Images released overnight display an operation that shows no sign of letting up. Israel says it's up to Hamas to stop firing first. That's not happening either. This the aftermath of a rocket attack in the city of Beersheba. The rockets are, as always, indiscriminate. This is a solemn day across the Palestinian territories. In Ramallah, on the West Bank, sirens sounded to mark the 73 years since the creation of the State of Israel and the dispossession of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians. On the streets of Israel's mixed cities, where Jews and Arabs live side by side, uneasy quiet this morning after nights of shocking violence. This is Jaffa, scene of fresh disturbances last night, now almost deserted. Fear and hatred tugging away at the fabric of Israeli society. Paul Adams, BBC News, Jerusalem. Well, our correspondent in Gaza, Rushdie Abu Alef, has more on the events leading up to the destruction of the building, which was housing international news companies. Yeah, it's true. It's uh, not far from our office in, in Gaza. We have been watching the destroying of the building uh, live from our roof uh, top. It's uh, uh, the biggest building so far. It's housing about 60 residential uh, people, housing uh, tech companies, uh, engineering companies, including the Al Jazeera uh, TV, satellite TV channel. Yeah, I was talking to the landlord of the building. He said he received a call from an uh, Israeli uh, officer uh, telling him that uh, you have to evacuate the building immediately. The guy, I mean, the, the, the owner said he asked the uh, officer for another 10 minutes to uh, uh, take some of the archive from the uh, Al Jazeera office, but uh, they refused and uh, he asked everybody to be away from, from the building. Then it was uh, fired some warning uh, shots, uh, warning rockets and the roof of the building. Then the building was completely uh, destroyed uh, from uh, Israeli fighter jets.